Hey everyone, I'm Sarah. And I'm still mad. Today we cook vegan quickies. <laughs> this episode is about being prepared and then being able to cook a very quick dish, uh, perhaps during the week when you're really busy. We eat this fair bit, don't we? Which means we're really busy a lot of the time. <laughs> or lazy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We don't always have time to get a whole lot of fresh apples and peel them and then cut them down and stew them. That does take time. And in a lot of my recipes, I do use apple sauce because it replaces oil and it also makes things taste really, really nice. So grab yourself a can of apples, which is the, the pie apple, and you'll find that there's no liquid in them. They're just packed full of apples. It's really, really good value. And then you just put it in your blender whiz it up until you've got apple sauce and then I freeze them in half cup measures and ready for use when you want to make your next batch of muffins or a cake. Yeah, when we're going to have brown rice that evening, I always make sure I cook a lot extra. So then I've got something to put in the fridge for the next few days and then quite a bit in the freezer for use later on. It's a great idea to make a bulk salad and then put that in the fridge. Because when you're having dinner, it's just easy. Scoop some out, put some on your plate. You want a sandwich, just take some out, put it in your sandwich. You want a little snack on crackers, just take some cucumber bits out. It's already done. You don't have to keep prepping for the next two days if you've got your salad already made. This is one of the recipes that we use the rice in. It's microwave fried rice. Per person, you will need one cup of cooked brown rice, one eighth of a teaspoon of Chinese five spice, one tablespoon each of peas and sweet corn and half a tablespoon of soy sauce. Mum's just gone out to the garden because we've realised we've forgotten our parsley. While she's doing that, I'm just going to go ahead with this dish. So you're going to have the bowl that you're going to eat it in. That needs to be microwave safe, of course. In goes the rice, sweet corn, the peas, which is the same colour as my top, the soy sauce. I might just drizzle this over. You're putting it on now so that there's a bit of liquid in the rice to help it cook, it will steam it more. And your Chinese five spice. We're gonna mix that up. I can hear mum coming in now. And she's got the parsley. And there's no snails on this because Sarah relocates the snails to the baker block down the road. It's actually true. <laughs> <laughs> Normally with a piece of lettuce. <laughs> This is going to go in the microwave. Try a minute first. You're going to give that a stir. Then you're going to add your chopped parsley and then cook maybe for another minute. Give it a stir, see if it's hot enough, and then it's ready to eat. One small eggplant. One teaspoon of balsamic vinegar. Half a teaspoon of mixed dried herbs. Quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. Eggplant has been washed and dried. Has it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so with your eggplant, you're going to, you want to cut it as perfectly in half as possible so it cooks evenly. Next thing you're going to do is score it, so you're just going to run your knife along. Put your eggplant in a microwave safe bowl, then you're going to pour over your balsamic, just very carefully. You can just get your fingers and just rub that in, move it around so it goes down the holes. Right, would you like to sprinkle the mixed herbs and pepper on top, Mum? Pop your paper towel on top, put that in the microwave for anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. You do need to check it, so pop it on high, put it in there, um, cook it maybe for 4 minutes to start off with, check it. It's soft but it doesn't fall apart. Yeah. We've put these together today for an instant meal that we have been eating a lot recently. While I cooked the eggplant, I put the rice in a cup and it keeps it warm. And then before you serve, you just want to give it a tap and then gently lift oh, that up. Oh, oh. And I've just got some parsley here so we can stick that on top and make it look pretty. And also, uh, I'm pop we're popping the creamy dressing that you can find the recipe for here. We oh, keep where, where? J just there, oh, okay. <laughs> with the little eyes. And you can keep this in the fridge for up to a week. It actually lasts really well, but you probably think, oh, it must be off by now. That's, no, it's not. Well, with two of us, it struggles yeah. to last a Yeah, week. it does. So I'm just gonna gently pour some of that over. Mmm. Mm. Oh, no strong flavour in there. Mm. What was that? The five 
The Chinese five spice and soy. It's all that's in there. Thanks for watching us today. I hope that you enjoyed these quickies. They're so yummy, you really should give them a go. And um, it looks like I better start eating before mum finishes the entire food. So look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye.